Connecting an Android Auto compatible phone to the display audio lets you enjoy many of the smartphone's function through the display audio touchscreen without having to touch the phone. Before connecting a compatible smartphone, you'll need to download the Android Auto app from Google Play to the phone. Plus, it must be paired to Bluetooth hands-free link. First, make sure your compatible smartphone has the latest software update. Plus, it's critical that the cable you use is from the original equipment manufacturer and that it's not worn or damaged. If ever you have problems connecting, have unexpected disconnects, or receive device not found or device not compatible messages, it's most likely due to an off-brand or damaged cable. With the vehicle parked, plug the Android phone's USB connector into the USB smartphone audio interface at the front of the lower deck. It's the lower of the two USB ports. When you first use Android Auto, a consent screen will appear before enabling. After agreeing to the terms and conditions, select Enable Once, Always Enable, or Cancel on the display audio. A tutorial will appear on the display. Complete the tutorial before driving and using Android Auto. Now, an Android Auto icon will appear on the display audio home screen. Touch the icon to go to Android Auto. The easiest way to use the apps on the smartphone is through the Google Assistant, the app's voice recognition feature. To engage it, press and hold the talk button on the steering wheel until the system responds. The Google Assistant will now remain engaged until you press the talk button again. You can use the Google Assistant to make and receive phone calls, have the system read emails and text messages and respond to them, plus get directions, news, sports scores and weather forecasts. If you'd like to delete phones from the Android Auto history, here's the process. From the Display Audio home screen, touch Settings, then Smartphone. Select Android Auto. From the list that appears, select the phone you want to remove. Then touch Delete. Scroll down and touch Yes to complete the process.